I was a sophomore in high school. I had been invited to go to a youth event. I didn't really know what I was going to. I was one of those people who's honestly like many of you. I grew up in and around church. I grew up in the literal shadow of the cross. But like I already said, <laughs> you, uh, it's very possible to grow up in the shadow of the cross and not know the one who hangs on it. And so in that context of that youth event, big party, music, some worship, games, all that stuff, at night we'd go to host homes and we'd stay the night uh, with people your age and gender. So I was with the sophomore guys and like basically the formal, I don't know, Jesus Bible time was us sitting on a shag carpet uh, <laughs> at late at night, everyone's got their Bibles open and it's just the, the small group leader is saying, let's just go around and you just share what your favorite Bible verse is. And it's basically what Pastor Greg asked me to do. Like, what's your life verse? Share it. A couple thousand more people hearing it this, this time, a couple decades later. But it's basically the same exercise. The only problem with me back in 1998, as all of the people in my circle were like, oh, I can't wait. I got mine. I was like, yeah, I don't have one of those, like that favorite verse thing you're talking about. So I'm like, you guys talk, you guys talk. And I'm like, I'm going to find a favorite real quick, rather than admit I don't have one. And so I'm just like, Lord, help me out. We haven't talked a whole lot, but please. John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for his friends. Just falls open. And I am reading it over and over again as my peers took turns sharing their verses. And here's the profound thing that happened for me. I had a baseline understanding of the gospel. I knew very ambiguously the John 3.16 gospel, not even the whole thing, just the first couple words. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. I had a loose understanding of what that meant, a loose understanding. But what fell, what fell into place as those words are jumping off the page into my heart is this realization that yes, he died for the world and the sacrifice of the perfect lamb of God was enough, was more than sufficient to cover and forgive the sins of all who would repent and put their faith in him, the world. But something about that word friends, I knew that this was talking about what Jesus had done. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life, cross, for his friends. And I just felt the Holy Spirit like, yeah, that's you. Wait, that's me? Hold on, the cross was for me. Because I, I knew the, the world thing, the cross was, and I was just stunned. I was absolutely stunned at the realization, like my, my theology was still whacked. I did not understand everything, but the cross was coming into view and it was changing my heart on the spot. The understanding, this simple thought from my teenage brain, no seminary, no Bible study, nothing. This was the thought that the Holy Spirit made possible. Somehow I just came into the certainty that it was Brian Robert McCormick's face in some way that was on his mind as he carried that rugged cross atop Calvary. Have you had that realization yet? Have you, have you realized that it was for you? Have, have you realized that it, that it was for you? It wasn't for the world and that you're kind of like technically drafted in. Like, Christian, your, your face was on his mind. Stop doing the math. You're like, oh, I don't know, how long did it take to climb the, how, the hill and how many minutes was that? And there's been billions of people. How did he have time to, stop that. Stop that. Your face was on his mind as the hammer fell, as the nail went through, as all those things took place, that changed my everything. I did not have much, but I had proof of his love for me. I knew there would be doubts. I knew there were things I was confused about, but I knew it would be irrational to ever doubt that I was loved. And how sturdy is the ground someone is standing on if that's the only thing they know? The cross is proof that I'm loved by the Father. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.